Visit goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website for courses from the bronze and silver era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the world's first adjustable plate loaded dumbbell created by George F. Jowett, a legendary strongman from the bronze era of bodybuilding. Now I really believe that the world's first adjustable plate loaded dumbbell was truly a phenomenal invention. Uh, in the evolution of bodybuilding, namely because it allowed for the first time a person at home to start developing their physique slowly and progressively and therefore slowly and progressively increase their strength and the size of their muscles. Previously only fixed dumbbells had been used for even millennia, but the the uh, ability of, of now having an adjustable plate loaded dumbbell at home allowed one to save space and train comfortably and safely without having these big jumps in weight. And so um, really what, what this led to was the new revolutionary term of progressive resistance training, which is what um, really led to the boom in bodybuilding in the silver era and later the golden era. It is progressive resistance training that allows one to slowly increase the weight over time and therefore allows the muscles to adapt slowly over time and grow. So let's have a look at the world's first adjustable plate loaded dumbbell created by George F. Jowett. So who was George F. Jowett? George F. Jowett, as I've shown in a previous video, was an English strongman, a real legend in bodybuilding as well. He was a wrestling and gymnastic champion, a world champion actually, and uh, broke several world weightlifting records. He also, along with Alan Calvert, set down the rules for the three Olympic weightlifting lifts back then, which were the press, which is not used nowadays, the clean and jerk, and the snatch, which are still seen in today's uh, Olympic lifting. He was also an uh, author after retiring, and he came out with at least 30 publications, some of them which are shown here, uh, the very famous Molding a Mighty series, and I've read these, and I truly believe that these the information held within is still applicable today. Um, he was also the very first IFBB president under Joe Wader's IFBB and an inventor, which is the focus of today's uh, video, where we're going to look at his patent on plate loaded dumbbells. Now, George F. Jowett was a real advocate of progressive resistance training. Hence, he was known as the most scientific bodybuilder uh, of his age because he really was a thinker. He, he understood that you couldn't jump up too much in weight when you were bodybuilding because otherwise the body wouldn't have a, wouldn't be able to adapt to the new resistance. It had to be uh, a slow increase in the resistance. And so he came out with all these inventions and patents and courses to follow. For example, um, you can see the courses here. I actually don't own these, but I wish to and I'm looking for them. The progressive barbell training course, the Science of Exercise Specialization. These are other booklets that he that he um, sold, his other publications. Progressive Dumbbell Training, which is more or less the focus of today. And when you open this booklet, you find these pictures of him using the dumbbells that he created. He also even created a fulcrum bell, which, I've owned, which I own and I've shown a video of once before. I haven't actually gone through the course yet, but I plan to in time. Now, the great thing about his barbell and dumbbell patents is that it, for the first time it truly gave the user and the ability to progressively increase the resistance in the training. And in George F. Jowett's mind, and it still is true to this day, progressive resistance training is the best method for bodybuilding because it allows the body to slowly adapt to the increased uh, demands of of increasing the weight and with increasing the weight the strength builds up with the tendons and the ligaments getting stronger and then the muscles can grow larger so progressive resistance training was truly championed by George F. Jowett and um, really one could say um, pushed by him because it really did change bodybuilding and, and uh, allowed it to evolve to the point where it is today so the famous dumbbell patent by George F. Jowett is shown here, which you can find under the US Patents website. Um, you can see that the code for the patent is 
1,672,944. So that's quite a lot of patents already. Um, but George F. Jowitz, that's his number. And uh, it was filed in, on September the 1st, 1927, and accepted on June 12th, 1928. You can see that um, as he wrote on his patent, my invention relates to dumbbells and has for one of its important objects a very simple means for varying the weight. And that was the patent itself, the ability to load more and more plates to progressively increase the weight. The handle itself already weighed, I think, one kilo. And um, each of those discs weighed at least half to another kilo. And so by increasing uh, the, the number of, of, of these discs that you screw on onto the handle would obviously make the dumbbell heavier, like the adjustable plate-loaded dumbbells we use today. Um, you can see that in the first figure at the very top, figure one, uh, you can see a side view of the improved version of his dumbbell and you can see it's got grooves for the handles for your fingers to actually hold on to. Um, you can see that at the ends there are these screws that go through the handle itself and lock in the weights that, um, uh, that you would obviously add as you increase the weight. In figure two you have a cross-sectional view of the actual, um, or as he puts it, a longitudinal sectional view, sorry, of the dumbbell itself, where you can see the um, screw going through the handle and locking the discs into place. And the third figure actually shows you the dumbbell handle itself, which already is enough to start off with for, for a beginner. The, the weight is about a kilo already. Um, so um, I found actually recently a, a um, a, a pair of these dumbbells online and I was able to purchase them and in the next video you're going to actually see a demonstration of how these were used and I actually go through all the different pieces that make up the dumbbells and how one would actually use them to progressively increase the weight. I hope you enjoy this. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. So I thought I'd do a quick demonstration. Um, this is the handle which you can clearly see the um, grooves there, the indentations for the fingers when you grab it, like so. Fits really nicely in the palm of the hand. Weighs about a kilo. Has these holes where the screws fit in the weighted discs. And therefore you can adjust the weight. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Um, it's a really nice invention from George F. Jowett. I love the discs as well. They're gold painted, although with time they've become a little bit rusted. Very quickly and easy to assemble. I've already done one on the other side as you can see. And it's as simple as that. After just about 10-20 seconds, you've got one side loaded. And you can quickly do the other side as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the world's first adjustable plate loaded dumbbell. I've demonstrated how they, these were used after acquiring one myself. And once again, this is actually what I do with the money that I earn from my YouTube channel. I am focusing not only now on books and, and rare to find magazines from the bronze, silver and golden era, but I'm even trying to find the original equipment and show you guys um, the evolution of physical culture through this YouTube channel and I really hope you, you are enjoying this series uh, where I've already shown the Eugene Sandow chest expander um, with the grip dumbbell handles and now the adjustable plate loaded dumbbell uh, patented by George F. Jowett which of course everybody since since him copied and created their own version um, of course this was a very important step in adjustable dumbbells and I mean now we see them on eBay and Amazon everywhere uh, for next to nothing and uh, it all started with this wonderful patent from George F. Jowett. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era book, uh, bookworm and leave me your comments um, thank you for watching are you enjoying um, the history of this home gym equipment which I'm bringing to you from the bronze and silver era. I really hope you are. If you are, please let me know.
You can support me and this kind of work through my PayPal account by becoming a patron on www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm or by purchasing some of my rare courses from the bronze and silver era on my website golden era bookworm.weekside.com forward slash website. This is the golden era bookworm. Bye for now. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding.